Welcome to 5 Minute Science Class. Today, let's learn about the uniqueness of planet Earth. He knows a lot about science for 5 minutes all he needs. In the solar system, Earth is just but one of the eight planets orbiting around the sun. But why do you think Earth is considered special? Ano meron si Earth? Ano meron siya na hindi mo mahanap-hanap sa iba? I mean, nawala sa ibang planeta. Most of you would say that it is because of the existence of life. At tama naman kayo doon. Our planet is known as a home of simple single-celled organisms gaya ng bacteria at fungi up to the most complex life forms gaya nating mga tao. So it is truly undeniable that we live in a very unique planet. However, life on Earth ay resulta lamang ng mga natatayong characteristics na taglay ng ating planeta. Kung pag sa pagsasain, kailangan mo ng tamang dami ng bigas, plus tamang dami ng tubig, plus tamang lakas ng apoy para magkaroon ng maayos sa sinain. Kits nyo? But before we discuss what these special characteristics are, pag-usapan muna natin ang mga factors that make a planet habitable para mas maging madali ang appreciation natin ng uniqueness of planet Earth. 1. Temperature so unang factor na ito, medyo magka-chemistry tayo. Sabi sa chemistry, temperature influences how quickly atoms move. Ibig sabihin, depende sa temperature kung magkakaroon ng chemical reactions. For example, photosynthesis. Plants need sunlight to perform photosynthesis. Kaya lang, kapag sobrang baba ng temperature, magiging mabagal ang proseso ng food making kasi tawad na tamad kuminos ang mga enzymes na kailangan. One more thing na maaaring mangyari, if there is too low temperature, wala tayong makikita ng liquid water kasi lahat naging yellow. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. You may wonder, ano naman kung puro yellow? Is liquid water so important? Those questions are very good questions. Ang sagot ka dyan, ABK yes. Because for your information, life here on Earth started in liquid water. And as we know it, water is a necessary chemical ingredient for life. So kung walang liquid water, wala rin buhay. According sa mga scientists, life seems to be limited at a temperature range of negative 15 degrees Celsius to 115 degrees Celsius. At sa temperature range na to, pwedeng magkaroon ng liquid water. So ibig sabihin, pwedeng magkaroon ng buhay. Masyadong mataas naman ang temperature, ng water nag-e-evaporate kaagad. So wala na naman tayong liquid water. As a matter of fact, at about 125 degrees Celsius, yung mga biomolecules natin sa katawan, gaya ng carbohydrates, ng proteins, at maging ang ating genetic material na tinatawag natin DNA, ay nagsisimulang mag-break apart. So dahil dun, patay tayo. Oh, no. 2. Atmosphere Atmosphere is the thin gaseous layer that covers the Earth. Ito yung sapin-sapin na hangin na pumaprotekta sa atin laban sa harmful rays ng araw. Bago tayo magpatuloy ng discussion on this second factor, here is one concept na dapat yung maunawaan. The size of a planet determines the strength of its gravitational pull, which in turn determines the amount of atmosphere it can hold. Medyo komplikado yung statement. However, itong statement na to simply provides us a relationship between the size of a planet at ang kapal na magiging atmosphere nito. Ipaliwanag ko na ha? Ibig sabihin nun, yung malalaking planets have stronger gravity which enable them to pull much gases sa paligid nila. Kaya masasabi nating mas makakapal ang kanilang atmosphere at mas matindi ang proteksyon nila laban sa init ng araw. Conversely, yung mga planets naman na smaller ang size Mahina ang kanilang gravity at dahil doon, little lang ang kanilang atmosphere at little lang ang kanilang protection mula sa init ng araw. Nag-gets nyo? For your information, sina Earth at Venus lamang ang may tamang size sa buong solar system. What can we conclude from here? Sufficient size equals sufficient gravity. At dahil sufficient ang kanilang gravity, they also have sufficient size atmosphere. 3. Energy Simplihan lang natin sa third factor na ito. 
Energy, halimbawa, light energy from the sun o yung chemical energy na present sa ating mga kinakain. Just imagine, when there is too little sunlight or kakaunti yung chemicals na nagpo-provide ng energy sa cells gaya ng iron at sulfur, malamang sa malamang, organisms will die. Oh no! Problema rin naman, if light energy makes a planet too hot or kung masyadong marami tayong nariisipin ng harsh rays gaya ng This is true sa mga inner planets kasi nga, they are closer to the sun. Tandaan, for life to exist, ang kailangan lang natin ay steady input ng light or chemical energy para magawa ng mga cells ang mga necessary chemical reactions to support life. 4. Nutrients Para sa pang-apat na factor, sabi sa biology, nutrients are chemical substances used by organisms to survive, grow, and reproduce. Just imagine, ano pag walang nutrients? Kapag walang chemicals to make proteins and carbohydrates, syempre yung organisms cannot survive, cannot grow, and cannot reproduce. Yung mga planets naman na walang paraan to deliver nutrients to its organisms, halimbawa, walang water cycle, walang volcanic activities, they also cannot support life. Ganon din sa mga gas planets na kung saan yung nutrients are spread so thin sa hangin at magiging mahirap kunin ito ng mga possible organisms. No problem naman tayo kapag sobrang dami ng nutrients. Kaya lang, kakambal nun yung sobrang active na mga taga-deliver ng nutrients to organisms, patay tayo dun. Halimbawa, sobrang active ng mga volcanoes sa Venus. O kaya naman yung sobrang tinding mga bagyo gaya ng sa Jupiter. On the other hand, Halos lahat ng rocky planets tulad ni Earth have the same chemical makeup, so nutrients are always present. However, si Earth lamang ang may water cycle at volcanic activities na nagtatransport at nagra-replenish ng mga chemicals required by living organisms. So pwede nating sabihin, Earth lang malakas. So ayan ang four factors that make a planet habitable. Sana may natutunan kayo. See you in our next video. Bye-bye!